and welcome to the second episode of Edinburgh. On today's show we'll be chatting with Raven Rock's very own oxymoron, Grace Savage, and the mildly mythical Reese Lewis. We'll also be getting our IDs checked by the lads over at Dugout Bouncers as we join them for an exclusive interview with dramatist and playwright John Godber. Edinburgh, Edin Beats, Edin Bouncers. It's Edinburgh. Love kick starts again. Starts again. And the love kick starts again. Starts again. Music plus Jude Law to the power of a wolf equals Reese Lewis. A young girl times witchcraft divided by noise equals Grace Savage. Add them together and what have you got? Our next interview. and I'm a beatboxer and I make noises like this. I don't make noises like that. But my name is Reese Lewis and I am a songwriter and I've written music with Jamie Blake. I think being involved in a show, not just flyering or watching, makes you feel so much more involved in the whole festival. So yeah. really exciting, especially when you've got such a great show to be proud of as well. So, yeah. Even on our days off, I'm like, I want to perform. Yeah. It's performing every other day is quite difficult, I think. Yeah, it is actually. K keeping up that momentum mm. is hard, but I think when you well, now we've got into it, it feels like the ball's rolling and the, our show is really picking up, you know, pace. Yeah, definitely. So I've had a chance to perform outside of Zoo Roxy as well, actually. Uh, I've done a few gigs elsewhere. My, I think one of the most uh, exciting venues to play at was the Gilded Balloon. Uh, I did something called Lax Anti Hoot, which is like a, um, like a talent competition. And really, really good performers, high standards, and it was great atmosphere, really cool venue. So it's something I'd hopefully do again and get involved in a few other places as well. Did you get through? I don't know. Oh, do you not find out on the night? You don't find out. Well, you do, but I didn't stay too tight. Oh. Too tight. You'll do it. He's um. good. Smashed it. It was amazing. Uh, we've done four shows all together. I'd say two out of four have been pretty slick. Uh, the first one was pretty much a dress run because, you know, it's difficult when you're going into a new space. Um, audiences have gone from 13 to 130 or something. Uh, the sound was amazing today. It really yeah. makes such a difference when, you know, because we've got a lot of We've, we've been teaching actors to sing and beatbox and all sorts, so giving them confidence on the microphone and making, you know, giving them the sound that they need is really important. And I think the fact that we've now done the show four times, we're really feeling like we're uh, we're sort of really getting it polished and I yeah. think everyone's really confident with the way it's going so I think it can only get better really and I think I'm really looking forward to doing it again and again and again and just having so much fun with it which has been yeah. really really good. starting to spread which is always exciting because that's when you trust that a show is good when other people say it's good mm. and you, when you come off stage with that buzz and everyone's got the same feeling it's yeah. really rewarding and you just know you're involved in something really special yeah, yeah. Woo! 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 oh bless grace and reese there catch them in jamie blake in zoo roxy now, I believe it was the great Marshall Mathers who once said, Bounce, bounce, come on, bounce. 
Bats. Inspiring words. It's dugouts bouncers. Cue Arctic Monkeys. Get on your dancing shoes. There's one thing on your mind. Hoping they're looking for you. Sure you'll be rummaging through. Oh, and the shit. My name's Tom Black and I'm the director of Dugout Theatre's production of Bouncers Remix at the Edinburgh Fringe this year. It's always frustrating for the oldest swingers in town. Yes, all human life is inevitably here in a midnight circus. I'm Rosie Clark and I'm the associate producer for Dugout Theatre Company and the creative producer for Bouncer and the assistant director for Bouncer as well. On the door, you pay your money! The place is packed, the place is funny! Look at the girls! <clears throat> <laughs> Smell their honey. Bouncers is often seen as a very sort of easy option for companies to put on. It's a really, really popular play, and rightly so. But it's very associated with schools, with A-level work, and so on. But we felt we could bring a new take on it to an extent by bringing in what we've done, which is choreography and having lots and lots of dancing between the scenes and turning all the quite quick transitions into quite, as we feel, well put together dance moves. And it's also a lot of fun, it's just a bit more it's unusual. A lot of people have said they've never seen the show with so much choreography and um, such a good music element as well. The music's been updated and it's just, it's very popular, but it's without being cheesy, I think. Look at him! <laughs> Sitting over there, cool as a cucumber. I've been going out with him for two days! <laughs> Personally, I don't think I felt much pressure just because I knew that our show was going to be slightly different. Um, but when we first heard that John Godbell wanted to talk to us about it, that was a bit scary. But actually, <laughs> speaking to him was actually calmed me down much more. He, was, he just seemed very interested in me. He asked a lot of questions. Um, and just gave me a lot of advice on the numerous productions he must have seen. What is interesting is to see how the characters have been mixed and how actually this time Jud isn't a giant. Usually we have a very, very big Jud and Jud this time is the smallest member of the, the, the cast. And I think also, I tell you what I do feel, I feel that the, 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 the cast are very precise in the way they drop the lines and there's some very talented actors in there. Yeah, I interviewed John Godber. Yeah, it was next to some bins. Jealous. Speaking of bins, here's what a lot of people do with them. If you don't want this to happen to your flyers, stick around. It's my fringe tips. Tip one, quality over quantity. You may feel like a machine when you're handing out 500 flyers in under five minutes, but you'll just look like an idiot when nobody actually shows up. Talk to people. Show them how enthusiastic you are about your show. Or, if you hate it, see it as a chance to improve your acting ability. Tip two, persistence. If people refuse to stop and chat to you, chase them. Not only will they find your pathetic neediness endearing, but also help you work off all that fried food you've been eating since you got here, chubster. Tip three, do not chase people. It's probably illegal and you might get punched. See you next week. See how you like it. Love kickstarts again.